Yo, what's going on guys, FaZe Blazkin or Lucas here, and as always, hope you guys are all having a great day so far. All right, so all of last week, I was in California, I was visiting my family. Every single day that I was in California, the weather was perfect. And then uh, yesterday, I got back to New York, and uh, the first day that I get back here, it's raining. I mean, it's not raining right now, that's why I'm sitting outside and doing this intro outside, but it was raining all day today. I'm just spoiled by California weather. I'm definitely a California boy. But yeah, I'm back at the FaZe house, like I said, I got in late last night, and I'm actually going through the garage right now because like, I want to show you guys so I'm pretty sure that everybody has seen this already but I thought I'd feature it in one of my vlogs because I, I haven't put it in one of my videos yet this is phase rains 2017 Audi R8 the first one in all of North America. Look how beautiful this car is. This is the nicest car that I've like ever been in. Bro, it looks like the fucking like German Batmobile. God damn dude this thing is pretty sub dude wait I thought you were Alex Oh, I'm about to look at someone. Let me think of this title. Ah! <laughs> you suck. <laughs> You're trying to troll me. Uh, Say it again, dude. Currently chilling in phase range setup. What's up? That's what's like the up, fifth time up? I've said Did that. I came back from California last night and I, I just walked over to Rain's desk. Magic. This is, in this this is, is incredible. But yo, real quick, the reason I'm sitting in Rain's setup is because Rain actually hit a trick shot yesterday. Shake, shake, shake. I hit two, by the way, but shake, shake. You, did you pull in the wire? Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> All right, we got it. Show him my new phone case. You show him the new phone case. You can my new, but I'm not using it, guys. I'm using my other new phone case. He literally got like two 10 phone bucks cases each, but they're the best, because guess what? They're like wallet phone cases. They're the best. Yeah, I have one of those, too. I'm going to show them. They can go. You can, they can see it on your channel, too. He's uploading yeah. it today. But you better leave sneak, a like on Sneak it, peek. Bitch. Definitely I go. Swear to God. Leave a, if you see it on this, go like. Yeah, but seriously, watch. Like, if you don't, your butthole will be mine. Watch. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. I'll he sees the guy one. running up there, right yeah. there. Model flippers. Oh, Dinked shit. all the way up there. And Easy I got the little Y walk. Really little nice. Y. Definitely killing it a lot more than me. Bro, I've hit marked seven shots since yeah. Clash started. Hit markers or... Well, I'm not in Clash. Maybe that's why I'm hitting shots. Yeah. I don't even know how that happened. I just randomly heard there was a Clash. You class. got completely left out. I guess so. Back in my room. Kind of messy. But I freaking missed my setup. Every time I go back to California, for some reason, I'm not gaming so much. I guess it's because my setup's different in California, and I, I just love my setup here at the Phase House. By the way, I don't know if I showed these yet in any of my vlogs, but for those basketball fans out there, I, I copped some new shoes. I did indeed get some new shoes, some new ball shoes. I went with Nick, and we got we got a really good deal on some shoes back in California. Right now, the only ones here at the Phase House are me, Rain, and Tommy, Phase Temper. And then uh, we also have some guests here at the Phase House. They're going to be staying for a few days. You guys can probably already tell who they are, and I'm going to introduce you guys in just a sec. But real quick, I just got to tell you guys what I saw on my flight yesterday. It was it was pretty crazy. I was sitting next to this guy on my flight from San Francisco to New York, and uh, this guy, he was he was swagging. He had some very expensive clothes on. He had very well-maintained hair. He had some, like, really dope dreads, and he also had a lot of bling. He had, like, some rings, and he had a lot of chains on. So I was thinking to myself, you know, this dude, he could possibly be a rapper. I'm not 100% sure. He just, he just kind of looks like a rapper. He doesn't look like anybody I know, but the guy Guy's sitting right next to me on the flight and uh, for some reason I, I I don't really like talking to people on flights I don't know sometimes I do but uh, I just I didn't really want to ask the guy if he was a rapper or not But then about an hour hour and a half into the flight I woke up from a nap and I looked to my left the guy was sleeping Okay, he was passed out and he had both of his hands in his sweatshirt. He had like a pocket right there I don't know what you call that. But listen to me. Okay, and I'm being a hundred percent serious Okay, the guy in his hands had the fattest wad of hundred dollar bills I've ever seen in my life there must have been a good like $20,000 in his pocket right there, and he just had it in his hands. He was just like fondling his money while he was sleeping. I couldn't believe what I was looking at, and I was like, there's no way that that's an entire wad of $100 bills, but I looked at it a little bit closer, and I realized that it was like absolutely all $100 bills. It was honestly like fifteen dollars to $20,000, like literally just sitting there like in arm's reach away. I'm not saying I would have I stole it, but it's that's powerful. That's a, that's a lot of money to just carry around in your fucking pocket. What the hell? I don't know about you guys, but I would never carry around that much money like in my pocket I would I would definitely lose that shit I would keep that shit in a bank or a safe or, or under my mattress I'd never take that shit into an airplane that is so much money but yeah so towards the end of the flight I like asked him if he was a rapper like right when we were getting out of our seats he was like yeah and uh that was the conversation that we had I, I said that that's cool and then he walked and he went on his way into the world so yeah that happened yesterday 
pretty interesting. Shout out to the rapper that I was sitting next to. Okay, so I actually wanted to introduce you guys to uh, the Call of Duty pros who are staying at the FaZe house for the next couple days. They're having a boot camp here. If you guys remember not too long ago, we had the entire FaZe CSGO pro team here at our house, and it was a great time. I wanted to introduce all of them to you guys, but they're actually in the middle of a scrim right now. I had two guys on me, so there was only two guys well, you guys had to worry about events, anyway. You, then you need to say that you don't have, because I did. I'm you asked what I was. You asked what I was. I said I'm watching Train. No, I, I know, but then Tommy said, like, do I have to watch my back? And I said no, because I- I'm kind of interrupting them in the middle of their practice, but yo, I'm gonna introduce them real quick, because these guys are gonna be in a few of the videos coming up in the next couple weeks. We got my boy Ian right here, Faze and Naval. We got Zuma, hey, Tommy Paparato. We got Clayster right there, the man. And then we got Dylan. What's good, yo? Dylan. <laughs> Stay sloppy. <laughs> Stay sloppy. Stay sloppy, yeah. Yo, I'm gonna leave you guys. You guys freaking kill it out here. Keep practicing. And there you go, the FaZe Call of Duty pros standing here at the FaZe house. Definitely a little bit awkward recording that because I actually recorded that like an hour ago. Like I already introduced them once to the vlog. But for some reason I I just wasn't recording. But uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you guys did, feel free to smash that like button. As I said downstairs, there's going to be a few videos that I'm making with the pros while they're staying here these next few days. So you guys should be on the lookout for that. They're going to be some funny videos. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great day. Always remember to stay sloppy. And that's been it. Peace.